there's this kind of passionate creative process like, oh, I'm going to create this spinoff, this idea, this new product. It becomes this thing that's now part of my repertoire of things that I have to be concerned with when really if I could do it all over again, I would do less. <laughs> One thing that I kind of wanted to just understand is like, how do you decide what to do and what not to do? I <laughs> suck at that. Though, <laughs> I know. That's what, really? Like, I'm just really, I'm really, really bad at saying no, you know, because I see what could be, but I'm oftentimes unrealistic about, you know, how much time I'm willing to dedicate to that. And so I end up having a bunch of ideas that could work if I really dedicated myself to them, but I'm, you know, I won't put in the time to actually make them work. So they'll languish and just kind of be there and be an annoyance on my brain there's this kind of passionate creative process like oh i'm going to create this spin-off this idea this new product this new concept this new thing like i have a clothing company like i don't devote nearly enough fucking time to this clothing company to make it have it make any sense at all but you know so but i started it and i have a partner in it and then it's this it becomes this thing that's now part of my repertoire of things that i have to be concerned with when really probably if I could do it all over again, um, I would do less and I would focus more on those fewer things that I was doing. So that's something that I struggle with. And I think I, you know, I've talked to really good entrepreneurs like Josh Bazzoni. He has a, he has what he calls the rule of three. Like he'll only allow himself to focus on three things maximum at any time. And I've really tried to adopt that going forward, but I've really made some, I've made some mistakes there. And I think the company as, as a whole, you know, could have grown faster if we'd have focused more on our core products rather than instead of you know, what? Well, it's it goes both ways. It was important to develop total human optimization, which needs to cover a lot of ground. But at the same time, probably if we're looking at dollar to dollar, if we would have just focused on our key five supplements, you know, more intensely from the start, we could have grown a lot faster. And then and then rolled out the whole suite a little bit slower. What makes you think that would have grown it faster? Just seeing what has happened by promoting these products singularly like now we have the bandwidth and the time to go back and really focus on each product as if it's you know a few products as if they're their own company right like really fully give it attention and that's what's propelling our growth you know so it, instead of chasing new products and new launches and new things all the time you know and like yes we'll do this yes we'll do this yes we'll do this and scrambling and giving everything a little bit of attention we've seen our growth from then honing that focus back in like a laser and focusing on one thing and seeing that thing to its ultimate fruition. That's what's propelled it. Now, if we would have started that four years ago, I think we would have seen, you know, faster growth. But then, then again, I love where we're sitting now and, you know, I don't regret it, but I think, um, in general, you know, having a little bit more focus would have helped me out. And it's probably my biggest flaw. What? It sounds like you just learned it. You were like talking to yourself right there. Totally. I'm, and I'm You're still like, oh, talking the jeans, to myself. The jeans thing. All right. I'm going to move yeah. the jeans thing. You know, <laughs> one of the biggest things I've noticed in my business uh, with Sumo Group now, and it's an eight figure company. We have a good amount of people there and, and the products have grown. Is that the things I joke about or the things I say kind of in passing are actually the important things. And so multiple times we've had inflection points in our company where I'm like, you know, I don't know why we just don't go like with AppSumo, for instance, or Groupon for Geeks. I said, why don't we just go back to promoting only amazing products? And it doesn't have to be every day. Just do it whenever we have them, twice a week max. And now the business doubled. Yeah. Right. And then there was other things with Sumo. It's like, you know, people really just like email and grow in their email list. Why don't we just focus on that? And now the business grown. And so yeah. it's just been interesting to notice the things I kind of mentioned in passing or joking. And I'm like, oh, there's probably some truth to those things that I need to see how I can apply it in actually the business. Yeah. Versus when you sit in a room and like, all right, we got to figure this one thing out. Yeah.